What is up, ladies and gentlemen? No, what is up indeed? My name is Clarity, and we are playing the Mad Pack. Yeah, so when we last left off, we were trying to play around with a little bit of Darkcraft, but uh, kind of had to leave it off there um, before we made ourselves some armor. So I actually went ahead and made myself some armor here. I am missing my chest blade. Uh, this is not good. Where the heck did that go? Well, um, okay, so... Oh, here it is. Okay, so I have actually been doing a little bit of, uh... Why is it only damage now? I have been doing a little bit of, uh, the infusing stuff. So how does that work? Well, you just take your, uh, piece of armor, you throw it into the middle there, and then you go to... You can look at info here, and it'll show you a bunch of different things that you can add to them. It'll give you a bit of a hint for the ones that you don't know. And then once you use them, it'll let you know what they are. So, it appears to be a small fragment of force. I wonder what it could be! It's the force nugget. However, it requires to be used on a sword, which I don't have a sword right now. So, um, looking at a bunch of different things that they had in this mod. I'm gonna go sleep for the night. Ah. So, looking at a bunch of different things that they had for the mod, in order to craft the sword for dark craft, you need to have um, two things. You need force uh, ingots, which are pretty easy. You just use those force gems uh, that we have over here, and you throw them in with some iron or some gold. Uh, if you throw it, if you craft it with gold or iron, I think it works with a couple other things. Uh, they have different amounts that you get. So, like if you use two gold and a force gem, you'll get three force uh, force ingots. But if you use um, two iron ingots and a force gem, you'll get two instead. So it is a little bit more efficient to go with, uh, if you're low on force gems, that is, to go with the gold, because you'll conserve more. Uh, anyways, yeah, this stuff's kind of ugly. <clears throat> anyways, so uh, the other thing that you're going to require are these force sticks. And force sticks can be acquired by planting a... Uh, a force sapling and getting a force sapling is a bit of a pain in the butt not really you basically need to use a force rod on an oak sapling or a normal vanilla sapling and it'll give you a force sapling and then you just plant it like you would a normal sapling and uh, what happens when it grows is not really all that different either I mean and it only takes one uh, click with a bone meal which is pretty freaking awesome pretty awesome and then you can just chop that the hell down and you get yourself a force tree what do you know boom grab yourself some more force saplings bam easy peasy lemon squeezy and sometimes they'll drop some force nuggets as well I've been getting quite a lot of them and they'll drop a heck of a lot of force saplings sometimes and other times they won't at, uh, drop like they'll only drop one so beware of that once you have force logs you can use them just like normal uh, wood so you can throw them in there you can get uh, your sticks and then you can use the sticks to craft a bunch of different things um, the first thing that I, you would probably want to get yourself is probably um, an upgraded version of those wands that we had so it to get like um, a full version of one of these so like see how this has like full durability instead of coming pre-broken you basically just replace it in the recipe with uh, well, like replace the stick with um, a force stick instead and you'll get a full durability wand instead of having one that was completely broken so like these things only start out with three instead of um, instead of full so uh, how much do these things have on them anyways 75 okay so they come with about like 80 uses i guess um okay and then the next thing that you can get is you can get yourself a force sword which is just two force ingots and a force stick just like you would expect same thing with the force pickaxe there we go and force axe so it's basically vanilla recipes using the force stuff i'm gonna throw this stuff away for now because i don't really need it and then we're gonna head upstairs and we're going to check out what we can do with the uh, infusing. Oh, wait. I forgot one more thing <laughs> for the infusing. Uh, da, 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 da. I think I'm going to need one of these. Yeah. 
So I actually found the um, the infusing to be rather confusing uh, without using a wiki or anything like that. It was really, really confusing because like uh, the book tells you to look at the interface for information and the interface doesn't tell you anything until you use it. Like until you've used these things, so it can be a bit of a pain in the butt. But uh, oh well. So basically what we're going to do is uh, throw in our force axe here and then we're going to throw on a force log, I think. Yeah, there we go. And then if it's an, a usable uh, upgrade, it'll say, okay, yeah, you're able to go. But like if there's nothing there or if I try and throw on something wrong, it'll say, nope, this is not right. Get it out of here, you idiot. Type thing. But in a nicer fashion, it's going to be like, yeah, there's an error. I, I, I don't think it's you. I don't think it's you, but... I'm just letting you know that there's an error. See, there's a nicer way of saying everything. Anyways, then we click go. It makes these nice sparkly particles everywhere. It's like one of those sparklers that you get, uh, you put on a birthday cake. And you, you really don't want to put on a birthday cake because it like spreads a bunch of freaking nasty chemicals everywhere. But everybody seems to like it. And there we go. Now we have Lumberjack on our, on our axe. And it works a lot faster than it would normally. But uh, I can't show you that because <laughs> I didn't show you what it's like normally. I think it's the equivalent of an iron axe normally. But uh, we'll play around with that afterwards. Next we have our seven a plus 7 attack damage sword. That's the equivalent of a diamond sword. And we are going to add a force nugget onto it, I think. Yeah, there we go. Can I add two at a time? Yeah, apparently. I don't know what doing that would do, but... There we go, we're gonna add that. There we go, and look at this. Our upgrade tome has upgraded. Every single time that you use all, uh, like you figure out what these guys are, like what these black things are, um, and you use all of them from that tier, your upgrade tome will actually increase in, uh, in its ability, and it'll unlock more of these things for you to use. So you do have to go through all of these. This looks like lapis. Colorful cloth abounds with this glorious gem. Gorgeous gem. So I think this is going to be like a... I don't know. This is going to be lapis. So basically, that that's what you do. You just throw things into this, into the... It's kind of like an enchanter, but like it, it infuses whatever it is that you're doing with the power. Oh, no. Apparently it is not lapis. Weird. And now we have, uh, you'll also notice like these are darker than these ones over here. We started out with only two slots. I'm not entirely sure what the, <laughs> what you can do with that. I think you can add like two at a, at a time or something like that. Anyways, this doesn't seem to be working. Okay, what else is there? A nugget of otherworldly wisdom inside a delicious confection. What? Okay. I have no idea what some of these are. Maybe it's a paper? Piece of paper? Because, like, that, that read as though it was a um, piece of paper from, like, a fortune cookie or something. Which is not right. Hmm. I'm going to take the knowledge fragment. And we're also going to try... Oh, I got some paper on me. Okay, well, I got some sugar cane. That's equivalent. Okay. I'm also not entirely, like, it doesn't tell you which, which, uh, things it can go with, which is really annoying, I must say. Like, okay, so I can't add paper in there. Can I add this in there? No. Well, that's really annoying. Um, and then what's this? I might try and upgrade a force pack with this strange item. Oh, well, we don't have most of these things, so... Once you have it unlocked, it'll tell you what it does. So the Force Nugget, this upgrade can be used to turn certain items into more forceful versions of themselves. It also seems to imbue Force uh, Swords with knockback. And then you've got the Claw, it upgrades attack damage, speed upgrade, um, and then it shows like your M levels up here the tier and everything of it. I have no idea what any of this means. Anyways, what we're going to do today is I'm trying to imbue... I'm going to see what do, uh, what it does with three of the items. So there we go. Because I'm going to try and imbue my armor with speed upgrades because I don't like moving super slow. It's kind of lame. And uh, I used to have all of these guys with speed, but I guess you're only allowed one at a time. There we go. We've got speed. Yeah, it didn't seem to do anything extra. 
Like, it's just speed, one. So maybe... I don't know. We'll just add one sugar to each. I am totally doing something wrong, and I just know it. The Force Infuser can be used to imbue your Force Jewels with special upgrades. So yeah, we're just gonna go with a bunch of speed upgrades, see what happens. Ooh, ah! Uh, I wanna see how fast we can go. With, uh, cause apparently you need all five, uh, all four of these guys before, uh, you really start to notice the speed upgrades, so we're gonna see what happens. Also, when you're in the Force Infuser, you need to make sure that you have some Force Gems in here that will be converted into Liquid Force. For some reason, I thought I had to use, um... The Magma Crucible. Like I said, this mod doesn't really cover too much in its book. Like, it has a book right here. Um, but the book is kind of, like, confusing to flow around with. Because, like, if you go into Liquid Force, it'll tell you what it's used for. And, like, oh, it doesn't mind the heat of the nether. Which means that you can, you know, put it down on the ground in the nether. It's like, okay, well, how do I get it in the first place? But, uh, yeah, so there we go. We've got all of these guys with uh, speed. The other thing that I've noticed is um, you see the Force uh, 10,000. Well, you can actually just put these guys in there once you have an upgrade on them and just click go, and it'll start to infuse it with some sort of force. But I'm not entirely sure, like, what's the point of that. I understand that, like, certain tools will use force power. Yeah, ish, maybe. I don't know. Mm, I want to try one more thing. I want to try Lapis on the pickaxe and see what happens. So that... Oh, and look at that. When you hover over the different things, it'll tell you what it can give you. Okay, so like, these don't do anything. Lapis, we don't know. So you can tell a little bit, I guess, when you bring it over, if it can go in there. Alright, so let's try the pickaxe and Lapis. No? No. Cannot apply these upgrades. Darn. A nugget of otherworldly wisdom stuffed inside a delicious confection. And that's all it freaking tells me. It's annoying. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, so, yeah, that's what we got so far. I will be right back once... Uh, well, actually, let's try this out. Okay, so this is, this is normal walking. This is normal walking. All right, all right. And... This is their speed. Oh, okay, so there is, like, a noticeable difference. It seems as though I'm, like, running. But, like, if you only have one piece on, it's not that noticeable. Like, it's a bit of a noticeable change in speed, but, like, not the biggest. So that's not bad. That's that's pretty cool. It's actually really nice, I must say. So I will be right back. Whee! Holy crap, this is so fast! You can even run on water. <laughs> That's awesome. And it gives you an up boost. This is so awesome. Okay. Why we're, we are running around is because I need some cocoa. Because apparently there is a force craft item in the game called a fortune cookie. Whoa. This is hard to control. Ah. We're drifting everywhere. So I thought I saw some... Yes, I did. Sweet. So we need some cocoa powder for some cookies because uh, that's part of the recipe. Okay, I also want some more cocoa powder. Uh, some more cocoa seeds. Cocoa beans. Cocoa beans! Where are thou? Come to me! I demand it! Because I don't, I don't really want to set up a farm just yet. But uh, I don't want to have to come back here either. Ooh! Oh no! What's on the go? No! No! Oh, darn. Well, I think I saw some more. Here we go. And there's some over there, too. Okay, well, there we go. Ugh, man, this is so hard to use. Ugh. Eh, eh. Oh, gosh. I don't know what's keeping me up, but I like it. <laughs> oh. Oh, my gosh. It makes it so easy to chop things down, too. That's the other thing. It makes it so that uh, all of, like, speed upgrades don't just increase your speed. They increase, like, so many different things. This is getting a little annoying to use. Oh, my gosh. Eh. Holy cow, man. This is going to get some t uh, This is going to take some time to get used to. Are those guys still here from the lucky block? No, it doesn't seem like they are. Okay, good. Whew. Don't need some behemoths to bug me. Okay, I am out of food. Anyways, I'm going to meet you guys back at the base. 
Welcome back to the base, guys. Yeah, we're just getting ourselves a quick little bit of a snack here. Mmm, deliciousness. Oh, it's good after a good run. All right, so we're going to make ourselves a cookie right now. I think I just need one of these. Boom. Cooker. There we go. And then you just put paper with a cookie. With a cookie. There we go. And you get fortune. Fortune cookie. Eat me, it says. Well, I'm not going to eat you. I'm sorry. I am going to instead, I think, put you on my pickaxe, because I think it'll give me fortune. Boom. And then... Boom. Boom. Oh, man, that's not cool. Oh, maybe I do eat it. Oh, man, it gave me a fortune. Sweet. Okay, what's my fortune? You are 5.6 grams heavier than you were 10 seconds ago. Oh, because we ate the cookie. That's so funny. It's so funny. Not really, though. Okay. So, uh, we will infuse our pickaxe with the cool glowy effects. Okay, we got fortune one. Sweet baby. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay, and then the other thing that I wanted to make were some four shears. Which are apparently, like, uber-powered shears. And there we go. That way we can we can deal with the sheep, get rid of their natural covering, battle and battlements. I I don't know, <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. Anyways, you can add lapis onto the uh, the four shears. Bam! Yeah, rainbow. That's the effect it has on there. I think it's supposed to have a little bit more colors in its and in its stuff, but he had a problem with it or something. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? Who cares? I don't. You maybe? Okay, and the last thing I wanted to make is uh, this thing told me something about a force pack, so I decided to go ahead and make one. Force pack. There we go. And the force pack comes with a pack. There we go. Comes with an upgrade, so I'm gonna make myself the upgrade. I'm gonna have to go get some wool. Really? Uh oh. Uh oh. Wait, do we have string? Yes, we do, because I am not going out there and fighting some sheep. That is just not cool. And man, things explode around me like every two seconds. It really sucks. I'm just an explosive guy. All right, so now we just throw this in here. Oh my gosh, what a mess I've made. There we go. And then, the, oh, this, there we go. We have force pack upgrade. All right, so currently this can hold Eight. Eight items. That is nothing. That is puny. Tiny. Why do I even need you? Okay, throw you in here. Give you upgrade. Go. Yeah! It's got 16 slots now. I wonder how many times I can upgrade it. And if this has like a specific slot I can go into? No. No, wait, that's Tinker's Construct. Whoopsie daisy! What's this? Hmm. Huh. Cool. All right, I'm gonna sleep for the night, and I'll be Welcome back, guys. Yeah, so uh, that last one asked, uh, mentioned something about a, uh, a book of, an enchanted book. What is going on outside? Not fun, okay. Anyways, <laughs> they mentioned something about a book and it looked like a bottle and stuff, so I thought it was the bottle of enchanting. Turns out there is a recipe for getting a bottle of enchanting. You just need an enchanted book and the force rod, which makes sense. Um, by the way, we have a backlog of obsidian and some lava buckets here, so I kind of expected this to happen. What I'm just gonna do to get rid of it is just throw in a diamond and uh, grab all of the AV value that it has and then just grab my diamond back throw it back in and there we go We'll start creating more and more AV again because we've got a ton of crap here There we go, and that's really cool because now we've got some extra diamonds and stuff We didn't really set this up to get extra stuff or anything like that even though it's way more efficient than this stupid setup over here but uh, it It's definitely a nice um, Nice little thing to do. I know you get like little bits of extra excess, I guess you could say. So uh, the next thing that we're going to do is make ourselves another. Um, I don't know how to make these. Uh oh, 
This could be a problem. <laughs> Another enchanting table. Um, okay, we're going to need some paper, I think. Three. Oh, we've got books. Okay, we've got books. We'll just take a book. There we go. All right, and I think it's just a book. Yeah, look at that. Genius. Okay, and the enchanting table. I don't know where I'm going to throw it down because it's going to need lots of books and stuff. Um, mm, mm, whatever. There we go. All right, now all we need is an enchanted book. Why didn't I grab that second book? I don't know. The game was trying to give you the second book, and you're just like, no, no. And now you're like, oh, I wish I took it. Oh, my gosh. There we go. Oh, my gosh. It's going to take me a while to get used to this speed. Holy cow. Uh, it doesn't matter what level, I don't think. So there we go. Boom. And then we throw this in here. Then we get some bottles of enchanting. I think it's based on levels, because we got two out of that. And we only use one level. And I think two bottles of enchanting equals one level. So maybe it's either that or it's just like always equal to that. So I'm not quite sure what you can put the bottles of enchanting on. Yet. <laughs> uh, but uh, we also have this misshapen rock or pancreas thingy, which is flint. So we're going to add this onto our pickaxe. Hopefully it... pickaxe. No, no flint, no flint on pickaxe. Oh. Oh, is it gonna work? Come on, it, it showed the thing. No? Oh, okay, fine. Um, maybe we need a completely new tool for it, or maybe we need to add some force to it before we're able to get rid of it. Hmm. This is all things that need to be answered. The questions, they must be answered. So yeah, we're just going to do a bunch of bloody force infusing today. I think it might be nighttime. No, it isn't. Okay, good. Sweet. 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 Because if it was nighttime, we might have some visitors. But holy crap, man, do we ever go fast. This is the longest infusing I've ever had. Here we go. And then... Can I add the flint? No. Oh, can I add it to the axe? No. Darn. Uh, basically, I have no idea what I am doing. I think it's flint because it looks like it's flint. I'm going to try making a new pickaxe for this. There we go. We got ourselves a force pickaxe plus three attack damage. All right, I forgot to see if this added... No, nope, it's just plus seven again. Okay. Forgot to check to see if this added any more than just knockback onto it, because knockback is kind of meh. Meh. Whenever you're using a sword... Yeah! There we go. We just needed one that didn't have any sort of enchantings, uh, enchantments on it, I guess. There we go. Check that baby out. Oh, yeah. We got some grinding. Okay. Okay. <laughs> And I don't think it means the club style grinding. We're not going to grind on some stones or something. The scrub grade allows for certain items and drops to be ground into powdery substance or other useful materials. Hmm. Let's go give Okay, guys. We got the tin ore. We got our grinding pickaxe. Let's try it. Boosh! Oh, yeah. We got some tin powder. Boosh! Oh, yeah. I can't get it. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, crap! Okay. <laughs> oh, it even grinds this into sand. That's cool. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, okay. That's so cool. And it gives you the experience for it. That's awesome. All right, let's have... All right, back at base, guys. Um, yeah, so this thing gave me a hint, actually, that I missed. Uh, I should put it on a book is what it says. So we are going to try that. Bottle of Enchanting on the book. What is this? Whoa, this is trippy. Can I put stuff in here now? Oh, whoops. Hmm. I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure what this is going to do or what this is supposed to do. I'm sure it'll tell me afterwards. So we'll figure out what happens after the fact. 
Experience Dome. Zero experience. Oof. Oof. That's lame. Okay. This upgrade has only one function, to upgrade a normal book into an experience tome, which is able to store an infinite amount of experience for the player. Shift right click to store experience and right click to recall it. Uh, there is a small percent loss, but it's free. But that's not free. If there's a small percent loss, then that means that it costs something. Therefore, it's not free. That's the very definition of for, like, the, the cost. <laughs> Oh my. Okay, so shift right click. Oh, look at that. We can store our levels in it. That's awesome. And then if we wanted to get them back, we just right click. Shift right click. Let's put all of our levels in. Why not? There we go. We got 298 experience stored. It doesn't seem to take all of your experience. That's okay. What else do we got? Hmm. It appears to be some sort of dust left behind uh, by a flask wielding lunatic okay <laughs> flask wielding lunatic uh, we got arrows and we got some spider silk um, we got a spider eye you probably shouldn't need it just jam it on a sword okay let's jam it on a sword let's go see if we can put more than one upgrade on our sword uh, spider eye. If not, we'll just make another sword and see what we get. Because, I mean, like, I got lots of force stuff. Why not? Boom, and then boom, and then error. Wait. Oh, man, seriously? What? Oh, that's lame. That is so lame. Okay. There's got to be a way of, like, multiple enchantments. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to, like, go through these things? I don't know. Let's... Okay, this is going to be our last enchant for the episode, I think. Because I think we are getting up to the wrapping up point. Yeah, soon. But I don't know. Let's see what this gives us. What do we get? Go! <sighs> Woo! I'm pumping my airs... Uh, my hands in the air. I don't know why. It's like I just don't care. There we go. We got Bane. Bane. Let's go hit something. Alright, I kind of pissed something off. Here we go. I, I pissed off uh, Ender Eye Dragon thingy. Where is he? Where'd he go? He got pissed at me. Where'd he go? What the heck are you? Baby Velo- Oh crap! Vento Raptor. Ah! Ah! How do you like my Bane in your face? Oh! Ow! Dude, that hurts. Stop. Stop. There we go. Do you drop anything good? No. Lame. Okay, so, um, oh yeah, by the way, I wanted to hit something that had an ability. The main reason is because Bane, I read, I read the, um, tutorial. Uh, <laughs> Bane apparently removes the abilities of the mob that you hit. So, like, if something has a special ability, such as an Enderman of teleporting away, the Enderman will no longer be able to teleport poured away once you hit it with Bane. Um, same thing with creepers. Creepers can no longer explode. I'm not sure if it'll work on like skeletons, prevent them from like, I don't know, hitting you, because that's not technically a special ability for them. Holy crap. I just can't get over how fast we move. Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. This is the end of the episode. Um, yeah, thanks again. If, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to uh, continuing on this pack. I hope you guys are too. Until next time, bye.